Hello everyone, a happy new year. This is Reverend Naoya Okano from the Los Angeles Kedats Church. In this video, I would like us to look at the year 2021 in terms of the Eastern astrological calendar and the forecasts. In Japan, there is a concept called Eto, which is associated with the Japanese or Chinese zodiac. Most people are familiar with the 12 zodiac animals or signs representing each year, such as dog, monkey, and rooster. The true concept of Eto, however, is deeper and more significant. The Japanese written characters for the 12 signs of the Japanese zodiac refer to 12 cycles of life. In addition, they are combined with 10 heavenly elements based on the theory of yin yang and the five natural elements such as wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Their combination creates 60 variation of Eto. When Japanese turn 60 years of age, they celebrate by wearing red cross and caps as if they were babies. That is because it is believed that after a 60 year life cycle, one is reborn into a new cycle. So what does this mean for the year 2021? This year's animal sign is the ox, and the heavenly element is called Kanoto. So we call this year Kanoto Ox. Let me explain its meaning by looking at the Japanese written characters or kanji. So this kanji character for Kanoto has a meaning of new, suggesting the time when new seeds begin sprouting. And this kanji character for ox is derived from the picto pictograph of an arm reaching for something, indicating to start, like a seed accumulating power to sprout in the spring. Two years ago, when the animal sign was born, it suggested that a seed was created. And last year, the sign of the mouse indicated that a new life was germinated in the seed. So this year points to the seed sprouting, and the next year, it will indicate the growth of the seedling. So both Kanoto and Axe mean that a new life is being created and starting to grow. When the meanings for both zodiac sign and heavenly element are aligned as they are this year, their influence is strengthened. In other words, this year has the potential to become a bold new era and time for reformation. Last year, the huge impact of COVID-19 forced us to change our daily lives. Many people throughout the world continue to suffer. We, as GEDAT students, know that complaining about the situation doesn't help. Instead, we should think about what we can do to improve the situation and actively work for the sake of society. Just like this year's Japanese zodiac tells us, Let's challenge new things and improve ourselves. I believe this will lead to our spiritual cultivation. As I said, the Japanese zodiac is a 60-year cycle. So if we look back 50, uh, 59 and 60 years ago to 1960 and 1961, we can compare those years to our current times. Major events in 1960 included the Great Chilean Earthquake and the terrible famine in China, 
which resulted in the starvation of tens of millions of Chinese. In the U.S., John F. Kennedy, Kennedy won the presidential election against Richard Nixon, and their debates were held on TV for the first time. Am I the, am I the only one who see a similarity to last year when the world lost nearly 2 million, 2 million people to COVID and the emergence of Zoom and the widespread use of other online services? 60 years ago, in 1961, one of the biggest news items was a Soviet cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, became the first human to orbit the Earth. This was a major scientific milestone, a result of years of effort. Compare this with today's electric cars like a Tesla, the growing adoption of self-driving cars and the rapid progress in AI technology, these scientific advancements are like the new sprouts indicated by the zodiac. Gedatsu Kongo stated in his book Shinko, at an age when the world is undergoing grave and critical changes, humans should awaken spiritually what they will likely forfeit the opportunity forever. Now is the time to awaken spiritually, and to do so, practice both in your daily activities and religiously. In your daily life, try to do your best to fulfill your duty to society. For example, if you are a student, study hard and get along with your friends, siblings, and parents. If you work, do your best for the benefit of your employer, when, when, and when you experience dif dif difficulties, self-reflect and improve the situation by changing your attitude or behavior. Accept everything as your lesson. Religiously, our duty is simple. We must live in accordance with the law of nature. Appreciate your life and the fact that you are allowed to live. Practice holy deep blessing and offer prayers sincerely. Specifically, give prayers and blessings to, to the victims of the coronavirus and to the ancestral spirits of the healthcare workers, hoping for their safety and health. Even though we can't gather in church yet, you can keep practicing these activities at home. So let's practice these things to improve our families, society, and the world. Finally, I would like to share a personal story. Sadly, it's a story of a failure. Because of COVID, like, like many of you, I have been doing a lot of my shopping online. Recently, my son has really enjoyed playing with Lego blocks, and so I, I purchased a big Lego set for him. Even though the set was for ages seven and above, and he is only four years old, I was amazed that he built the set by himself as, in as instructed. I thought this was a good for his brain, so I wanted to buy some more Legos. I found an ad on the Facebook for a huge Lego sale. Oh my God, this was a great chance to buy, so I eagerly put four items in the shopping cart and proceeded to check out. As soon as I clicked the confirm button, however, I received a text from Citibank asking if I had made the transaction. The text message quoted the wrong price, so I rechecked the site, and sure enough, it was a scam. I responded to Citi, and they immediately went through all my pending credit card transactions to determine their validity. 
City inactivated my card and mailed me a new one. I was really impressed with Citibank's quick response. I had always considered myself a careful shopper and confident I wouldn't fall for a scam. Most victims of a fraud say that they never expected it to happen to them. Believe me, anyone can be a victim. When I re reflect on this situation, I realize that it, it happened because of my overconfidence, carelessness, and lack of appreciation. At the same time, I was lucky that I didn't lose any money thanks to city's fraud protection. So I truly appreciate that I was protected. And because I'm a minister, I am swallowing, swallowing my pride and sharing my mistake with you as my lesson and hopefully as a word of caution for you. Please be careful and do not think that it will never happen to you. I would like to conclude my talk today by wishing that 2021 will be a great year full of love, joy, and kindness. Thank you very much. God bless you.